At that point the sun appeared, and it turned out to be the ninth hour. But the Jews rejoiced and turned his body over to Joseph, since he had been a witness to all of the wonderful things that Jesus had done. So the two of them took the Lord, washed him off, and wrapped him up in the linen cloth, along with the spices, in accordance with Jewish burial customs. Now there was this garden, known as the Garden of Joseph, near to the spot where Jesus had been crucified. And in that garden there was this new tomb which belonged to Joseph, who had carved it out of the rock himself, and no one had as yet been placed therein. Now they laid him there both because it was nearby and because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and the Sabbath day was drawing near. He then rolled a giant stone against the opening and went away. Now his friends, Mary of Magdala and Mary, mother of Joseph, women who had traveled with Jesus from Galilee, were witnesses to all these things, including where and how he had been placed, for they were standing in the distance. They went home, readied spices and ointments, and rested on the Sabbath day, even as the law directs.